Today, we're golfing nine holes with 3D printed golf balls. Better warm up. I'll tweak my back or something. <laughs> MJF golf ball. I lost it. Did you guys see where that went? I have no idea where that went. It felt really good. I was quite pleased with that one. You didn't see it at all? At all. I lost it completely. <laughs> it went off the club and it was gone. We've got our SLS printed golf ball. This is in the nylon PA2200. And then our MJF PA12 golf ball. So that's a solid denser ball made with the ink and that's the laser printed ball. So it's a little less dense. So you can feel the weight difference. The MJF one is definitely heavier and that's the one I just hit and it went somewhere. Over in hole nine somewhere. Yeah, she saw good. We put this on since that last one exploded and there's powder everywhere. Better stay safe. Put on the mask. I got some. I got some protection in case you need it. <laughs> <laughs> the mask. Don't feel like a regular ball. What? It don't feel like a regular ball. It's still That's bad. the correct. That one was completely hollow. <coughs> completely hollow. Not even a chance. Are we gonna run out of balls before we run out of holes? <laughs> You just proved it's not the ball. <laughs> it's the golfer. It's the golfer. Uh, I don't know about that. That felt really nice though. That ball comes off pretty good. I don't know what club to choose. <laughs> I'd go with your driver. Go with the driver? Go and see. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's what I get for hitting with a nine iron. <laughs> yeah. That's a tricky one. Oh, oh, hit the pin. <laughs> that was a gorgeous hit. <laughs> it golfs well. It feels nice. It's, it's solid for sure, but it still feels really good. Now we're going to try putting. Let's see how we do here. It's rolling really nice, so I doubt it will be too difficult. Must have just sanded this area. Nice up. Okay, in the hole. Oh. Try. Oh. Boom. In your hole. Gorgeous putt. So I hit the first ball, we lost it. So took out my second ball. It's got a nice little divot in it. I think that must have been from the first hit I did on this one after the drop. It's got some grass stains, but other than that, it looks, I mean, it's still got the whiffles all over it. It's, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, a couple more divots than you. Oh. You got a little piece that's gonna come, come off. off now. You might need a new one. No, I would say they're holding up pretty well for being an all plastic bowl. Your typical FDM printers, uh, I mean, they just shatter. You can't print them solid anyway. And the layer lines just break. Whereas on this, you just can't see the layer lines. It's a solid ball and there is, like right there, you can see the slight layer lines right there. And each one of those steps are 80 microns. Beautiful, you're on the green. Hey! Look at that. You're gonna roll right to the hole. Not quite. Oh. Roll to the left of it. Hey, that's the first time I've ever hit on this <laughs> hole, man. You need to play with 3D printed that's, golf that's balls. That's my lucky ball right there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> We're gonna be here a minute. <laughs> I am not a golfer. Much better. Okay. 
for birdie in oh. oh darn it that was close oh par it's probably all those scratches on the ball so you're gonna blame hey. 3d printing for this <laughs> i think i could see the little ridges from where the that six hit right there from that six yeah oh, the club scraping across it that's crazy. It's holding up well. <laughs> all in all, it's treating us pretty well. They're flying pretty good. Them being solid makes it more reasonable that they're gonna actually perform like a golf ball. If they're not solid, it's not gonna happen. FDM, because it prints with a nozzle, means that you can only print one section of the layer at a time. But because this is done with an ink, or in the other case of an SLS, with a laser, it does the whole layer at one point in time. So it just quickly gets everything connected and that's why it's solid. It's every single time that we're doing a layer, we can easily do the infill rather than just one nozzle portion. Because uh, if you do 100% infill on an FDM, it takes, I don't know, six times longer. Whereas an MJF, printing it in a full build volume, doing the whole layer with a infill density, doesn't increase the time at all. So it's just as effective to just make it solid. And then you've got a higher quality product in the end too. So for this, golf ball being solid helps a lot. It's going to stand up to the hits. It's going to make it so you can actually play it around the golf. Where it's an FDM, we'd be out here two, three sections and it would just be breaking every single ball and it would all be falling apart. So, so what you were cool. saying about the, the FDM is the SLS, you got a you got a laser focus that comes down and you focus that beam into the powder, and so it's not just penetrating, like it's penetrating the surface, but it's fusing all of those or centering all of those layers together. Mm. And then as it's going, you got your pattern that the the laser runs down. So on one layer, it might run the laser this direction, but then it will run another layer down and it will run the laser across this direction. So it, it pulls everything together by alternating the way that that laser basically runs across the, the build plate there. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is a 300 yard hole, but it does a hard, is it dog leg <coughs> left? That was not far enough. <laughs> Shattered. <laughs> it's kind of fun that the it is kind of fun. everywhere. Nice, you're right next to me. Do you think industrial 3D printing is the future of manufacturing? Uh, every manufacturing process has its place. I don't think additive manufacturing is going to take the place of any one thing. I think it's going to get better and better for sure. And it's going to make production of 10,000 parts, pretty simple. But mass customization is gonna be where additive manufacturing thrives. Nice. Sweet. Right where you wanna be. Right <laughs> where it works. Bryson DeChambeau printed a golf club set and he has it all customized to himself, I believe. I don't know if he's still using it, but on one tournament he did have all 3D printed clubs, which is pretty sweet. She's starting to look pretty good. Yeah, that one looks fantastic. You're getting <laughs> it. <got> some <laughs> yeah, it's like light slivers. I'm obviously not hitting it hard enough. I'll hit it harder this next time. Uh, well, I'm probably not hitting it with the right part of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Too cheap to have a desktop printer on your house or something like that. Even the industrial FDM printers are pretty good. Um, there's a place for FDM printing, regardless if we think the MJF or SLS is a lot better. There is still a niche that FDM fulfills pretty well. I mean, the cost to print a small little part is next to nothing. Um, so, yeah, I think it's always going to be around and always going to be a technology improving slightly to make it a little bit more efficient. I uh, still on the same ball after I had to replace my initial ball because it was lost. I lost it. But yeah, it's going well. I 
Here's this whole Mine looks a lot better than Cooper. <laughs> Don't necessarily know why, but that's uh, pretty good. So our camera guy just went and hit the golf ball. Nice. Smacked it so hard that it split the golf ball in half through your X and Y strength. I mean, he whacked the thing as hard as he could. And it, it compressed. You can see the color change inter interior. So it, it's like it compressed it, heated it up, and then split the golf ball. It could have hit something on the way it landed, but dang, that he hit that thing with some force. <laughs> <laughs> the reason you should care for industrial 3D printing uh, is the customization that you can start to add. So products in the future, I believe, are going to be manufactured based on what the customer's needs and wants are, rather than just, this is a standard, this is how we've done it forever. So you're gonna have that customization factor to it. So I mean, like all your different colors and features and stuff like that, it's gonna start to get more granular as far as what the customer receives. So you want little jut outs or, I mean, a great example would be everyone in a video game designs the character a certain way. You're gonna get that level of customization in the future. Not right now, people don't have that created, but like all the different AI and generative design stuff that is coming out, you're gonna start to get that in depth uh, stuff we're doing with the insoles, that's a great example of stuff that's going to start getting to that customization level. And you're going to start to see that with everything, your cars, your toothbrushes, your appliances at home, stuff like that is all going to start to become more personalized, I believe, and more focused on what the customer actually wants rather than just what they need. All right, we're on the last hole, hole number nine. So these golf balls have held up very well, and hopefully we can make it till the last putt in. <laughs> Same ball the whole game. Yeah, pretty impressive on that side. <laughs> Things taking a beating. So where do I see 3D printing going in the future, in the next five to 10 years? Uh, it needs to go down in cost a lot. That's where we need to see the biggest improvement. Otherwise, it's just gonna be that pie in the sky opportunity that no one can actually realize. Uh, it's, difficult to enter because of the cost of the machine, the cost of material, the labor involved with doing it and stuff. So it needs to start decreasing in that overall price. And I think it will start to do that pretty efficiently here in the next coming years. Um, new materials and stuff will be fun and different processes, but I think the overall operation of it just needs to improve. Lost it. Someone's got a free 3D printed golf ball somewhere. <laughs> I hope they like it. It's my favorite. It just doesn't feel the same. <laughs> Is the other ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a ball review here. Ball review. Let's see. My green ball. Oh, your green ball. <laughs> look at that. Mine was mauled by a house cat. <laughs> Yours look like you were mauled by a tiger. <laughs> See the tiger claw marks in there, dude. I'm surprised. That's that's all the holes right there. Yeah, one ball. That's impressive. That's gorgeous. Starts losing the one ball. That's did all nine for you guys. Both balls. Both balls. Except for me, I'm just built different. <laughs> our camera guy obviously can't hit a ball correct. <laughs> well, guys, this was our first full-length YouTube video. Um, We'd love to know what you think. If we should keep doing content like this, maybe we'll become a golfing channel. We'll probably stick to 3D printing. <laughs> <laughs> Where we test it next time, let us know in the comments.